Introduction to Philemon. During the first century, around AD 60 to 63, from a prison in Rome, the Apostle Paul wrote this brief letter to a man named Philemon. Philemon was a believer in the church in Colossae in Asia Minor. He, along with other believers, was a slave owner. One of his slaves, Onesimus, had apparently stolen from him and then run away. Under Roman law, this was punishable by death. But Onesimus met Paul in Rome, and there he was confronted with the gospel and came to faith in Christ. Now he was willing to complete his duty and return to his master with this letter. Paul writes this personal appeal to Philemon to accept Onesimus back as a brother in Christ, not as a slave. As you listen, Think about those barriers of race, wealth, position, status, education, and personality which can separate us from others, especially other believers. Philemon, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother. To Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker. To Aphia, our sister. To Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers, because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith, so that you will have a full understanding of every good thing we have in Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement, because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the saints. Therefore, although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, yet I appeal to you on the basis of love. I then, as Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, who became my son while I was in chains. Formerly he was useless to you, but now, he has become useful both to you and to me. I am sending him, who is my very heart, back to you. I would have liked to keep him with me so that he could take your place in helping me while I am in chains for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that any favor you do will be spontaneous and not forced. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back for good, no longer as a slave, but better than a slave, as a dear brother. He is very dear to me, but even dearer to you, both as a man and as a brother in the Lord. So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has done you any wrong or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand, I will pay it back, not to mention that you owe me your very self. I do wish, brother, that I may have some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you knowing that you will do even more than I ask. And one thing more, prepare a guest room for me, because I hope to be restored to you in answer to your prayers. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus sends you greetings. And so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.